All right, so we're asked to write the system of equations as an augmented matrix, then solve the system by putting the matrix in what we call the reduced row echelon form. So I think the first thing what we need to do is to establish what it, do they mean by a reduced row echelon form. And so <clears throat> when I take a an equation and I turn it into a matrix. Um, for instance, if I look at this one, an augmented matrix here, we would basically be looking at 2x plus 1y equals 1. So we would go 2, 1, 1. The next row, 3x minus 2y equals negative 16, would be written as 3 negative 2 and negative 16. Now, when we solve this system, we basically uh, create what we call a reduced row, reduced row, and this is called the reduced row echelon form. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to get 1x plus 0y equals some number. And then we're going to go 0x plus 1y equals some number. This translates, so think about this, this translates into 1x plus 0y equals some number that we're going to find. And it also translates into 0x plus 1y equals some number which we're going to find. So this sentence right here, 1x plus 0y equals something, is basically reduces to simply x equals something. And this basically turns into y equals something. In other words, when we get it into this form, we're actually finding the answer to the system of equations. So this is where we're going to bring up our graphing calculator. So if I turn this on, we are going to start off by entering in this matrix. Okay, so I'm going to go here to the matrix button. And I'm going to go over here, I'm going to arrow over twice so I get to edit. We're going to put this matrix into matrix A. So I hit enter. Now this is a two row, three column. So this is what we call a two by three matrix. So you notice now we have six numbers here in our matrix, just like we have six numbers here. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these zeros with the numbers that are in this matrix. So we'll go two, enter, one, enter, one, enter. Then we're gonna go three, enter, negative two, enter, and negative 16, enter. Okay, now this is in matrix A, okay? So step one, so step one is simply to put the beginning matrix into our calculator, okay? Now, we're gonna go step two, we're gonna go second mode, which is quit. We are going to go matrix, and we're going to arrow over to math. And now we are gonna arrow down until we get to reduced row echelon function, R-R-E-F. R-R-E-F stands for reduced row echelon function. Okay, and now we're gonna hit enter. Now, we remember we put this in matrix A. So if we go to matrix, click on matrix, and you notice here, here's matrix A, it has our two by three, simply hit enter do a close parenthesis and hit enter again. Look what we get. 
you get 1, 0, negative 2, 0, 1, 5. So 1, 0, negative 2, and then we have 0, 1, and 5. So basically what we're saying here then, 1x plus 0y, and let me get the eraser here, 1x plus 0y equals negative 2. And 0x plus 1y equals 5. So x is negative 2. Right? And y equals 5. So we have found the solution to our system. And just to make sure, let's go ahead and plug those into our x's and y and make sure the statements are true. So if I were to go 2 times 2 plus 1 times 5, does that equal 1? Well, 4 plus, wait a second, was that a negative 2? Oh, it was a negative 2. Negative 2. So that's negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5. Does that equal 1? And yes, 1 does equal 1. That's a check. So we do the same thing with our second equation. We go 3 times negative 2 minus 2 times 5. Does that equal negative 16? Let's see, that's negative 6 minus 10. Does that equal negative 16? Negative 6 minus 10 does equal negative 16. So that's a check. And we see then that this is the solution to the system of a, to this Oops, kind of messed up there. To this system of linear equations.